How's everybody doing today? I hope this video finds you doing fabulous. My name is Scott Mendenhall. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're always putting out content about one wheels. Today we're going to answer the question, does a treaded tire impede, hamper, decrease range on your one wheel? However you want to say it, that's the answer we're going to give you. Yes, this video is 36 minutes long and we thought instead of us cutting it up, we would let you see it in its entirety. It is a six mile loop and we will tell you what we learned throughout the process here and share some other stories here. And if you just want a ride on your screen while you're working because you're staying at home and you just want some float life happening in the background, turn down the volume, put your own soundtrack on and enjoy the view. Right now you're checking out my purple and gold socks. Today is draft day and we are Minnesota Vikings and we're hoping we get some good drafts. I think we draft first round number 22. Thank you Bills for that trade with Diggs. So we're amped to see what happens today. The tire we have on that XR is brand new to us. This is really the second time riding with real intentionalities to pay attention to the wheel and, and things of that nature. This is Hoosier Treaded Tire 2 um, or Terrain Tire 2, however you want to say it. And so we're putting it out on the street today. Just street. We'll do a little bit off-roading here and there. But I wanted to know, okay, if you're a hybrid rider like me, which rides almost 50% on-road and 50% as you're seeing here in the grass, am I going to lose a lot of range when I'm having to ride up to uh, Starbucks, let's say, uh, or or meetings when we can go do those things again? Am I, am I losing range in doing that? And so putting the test out there, you also are getting a, a glimpse at the brand new carbon fiber fender from one wheel it is that white and black oh it's so good it's tasty and then i changed my bumpers from the pink one to the black just so it looks good as epic my second oldest supporting the vikings as well hits the button and you're gonna see here because of all the um, social distancing and stuff we don't even need it we end up just going across all of my kids got creative the other day and did some new designs to the deletes historic did uh red and black Legend did a silver, all red for Epic to match his bumpers. Uh, Icon did a sparkly fleck, flake um, delete. Just changing it up. I think uh, Historics were going to do a little bit more to it to make it look a little bit better. I don't think she enjoys that uh, candy cane look. And then there's Legend back there. We're all supporting uh, new helmets as well. We're going to shoot a video about helmets and why we love S1 helmets. That will be later on as today's a beautiful day in Minnesota. We don't have to have hoodies on and sweaters. I think it was 60 degrees at shooting this. Back to the tire. If you're wondering, wanting to know what tire pressure are we rolling with here, it is, or I have it at 18 PSI. That was great for off-roading. Maybe a little squishy for the road, which obviously if I pump that up more, you're gonna get uh, a stiffer tire. A little bit more rounder tire and probably better range but I'm not one of those guys that wants to mess around with my PSI's all the time and inflating and deflating I just want it to be what it is so I can ride I'm a hybrid rider I love doing both and I'm not primarily on one or the other it's just really whatever line I want to take for the day and so uh, I want to leave it around 18 I found that very very complimentary for off-roading yesterday when we went to some terrain that was not uh, built for anything we were just off-roading it and it handled it like a champ I said yesterday as well that the wheel is is, is to carving it is a little bit squared off and so it, there's a little bit more effort than the whisper the whisper slick is very round and very enjoyable even in terrain it was enjoyable because then you could just bounce off of all the different rocks and sticks it just felt very good whereas th this terrain too has some serious bite to it i did see that yesterday it bit really good it is very quiet when you're riding uh, however there is noise to it there's treads to it my kids asked a couple, what's that noise what's that noise uh, some of it is there's so much extra rubber pieces on this treaded tire that it's hitting the one wheel as it's going around and so it sounds like you have a leaf in there but it'll all rub off at some point and it'll be fine 
you can hear that when you're riding it as well. It is a super light tire. I really have enjoyed uh, the light tire feel from the Hoosier line that Flight Fins is making. It's one of the few tires made with one wheel in mind, and you can tell. You can just tell it's different than just a go-kart tire, as we have some people walking here, and we just noticed uh, a duck nest down there. There's a little bit of water down there, and we were going to go down there and film it, but I was just like, no, let's not mess with mom and dad. They're trying to keep the eggs warm. We don't need to get them scurrying off their nest as legend. In the gold helmet back there is dancing on his one wheel, which they love to do. This is a brand new route for them. They've not been on this route either. Uh, they keep going left, Dad, right, Dad, straight, Dad. What do we do, Dad? As we are out on a lunchtime ride. And uh, it's one of the longest rides we've actually gone together. It totals out, I think I already told you this, but six miles we rode. And in that six miles, we saw all kinds of nature. A little bit, you're going to see where we run into uh, some snakes crossing the road, some turtles laying in the sun. It was, it was, when you get out and float around, it's pretty enjoyable. Uh, Historic, who is the closest to me, she's probably the least confident when we're out riding in these situations because she, she tends to not notice the bumps and, and doesn't want to fall, rightfully so. And she has occasionally fallen. But not in this this trip today. There are no falls. There are no bumps and bruises. We all made it. Well, almost uh, here in a moment. I do actually lose it. Uh, I decide to go off the the sidewalk and into the street to get a little bit of footage of the kids, you know. And uh, then I come back in. In the driveway had a lip, and I didn't see the lip. And I was like, "Oh, gotta bail that. I don't want that to happen." because uh, I knew it wouldn't be good and then I eventually had to bail all the way around. There's a good shot of the Delete Historics working on. It does look like a candy cane, which like I said, I don't think she enjoys it. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. That's the beauty of being customizing your own stuff. Just go back and reshoot it. Man, that's that one wheel look good. I'm just saying, it's looking good. I hope uh, all of our subscribers, if you're still watching in this far, uh, I thank you so much. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Mike from Tampa. Always enjoy seeing you on our things. Um, thank you for dropping comments. Uh, I'd also love to say uh, thanks to all of those that keep dropping comments. My float friend, uh, thank you for dropping a comment the other day. Learn more. I don't know your real name, Learn More, but you dropped some really good com comments as well, and it's cool to see you popping up here and there. Um, Ryan Foster, thanks for uh, your great comments. And, and those that are with us, giving us ideas on how to clean things. Uh, I don't remember who dropped the comment a few There's weeks a ago about taking our fenders and putting them in the dishwasher to clean them. Ah, oh, we did that last night. They look so good. All of my kids' fenders went into the dishwasher yeah, last night. Came out looking so buttery smooth. They're so good. Um, big boy D underscore twisty, I think it is. Hey, I thank you for jumping in and giving us great compliments. Thanks for being those that are jumping in on Sundays to our premiere videos. We have a great premiere dropping at 10 o'clock this Sunday on our channel. It's going to uh, be a race between some of those that I work with, but we're social distancing, and so we've got a race. Uh, we're going to teach you a new way to make coffee at 10 a.m. Uh, on Sunday morning. Honestly, it is a new way to make coffee, and uh, my wife loves it, and so it would be really cool for you to jump in at 10 o'clock and take a watch. Uh, you'll, I think you'll enjoy it, to be honest with you. Um, also, uh, Scott with two Ts, Scott Cheney. Chinny, is that right? Uh, thanks for your comments. Always cool to see you talking and giving advice. Uh, why, why, Ma? I think that I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm not very good at that. But why, I am a why, Ma? Anyways, love that you're you're always one of the first to drop a comment on the premiere last week. You dropped and said, "I can't wait." We got Cove, who's always asking questions and wants a one wheel so bad. Um, then we got Daniel V, who is a brand new subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. Um, it's just cool to see your guys' names pop up over and over on our videos. And I just enjoy seeing what you guys have to say and, and things you're throwing our way that we can be learning from uh, as well. 
because uh, we're trying to build a community on here. We're not that we figured out. We're just trying to go. Hey, this is what we're doing. Is it right? Is it wrong? I watched a guy the other day do a review on the XR, and he wrote it backwards for the entire video shoot. He kept getting it on backwards, and I had already noticed somebody had left a comment going, "Hey, um, uh, did you know you're getting on your board backwards?" I had to smile. And uh, if we're riding our boards backwards, would you ever let us know? Unless we're doing it in a race, just let us know. Um, as we are letting this Mack truck, who's getting their work done today, make uh, getting out of our way so we can continue as we are just cruising. We're, we're headed to a lake that we've never headed to before. And um, I didn't know if the pints would make it. I think one of the cool things about my kids on pints and the XR, it almost seems because my kids are so light in weight that they get so much more mileage out of their um, pints than I do when I'm on my pint, right? Uh, I told you this is a six mile run we're doing here and they're all, I think the lowest amount of battery left was 60% on the pint battery at the end of six miles. So th that gives you a good idea, an indication. If you got little ones and you have an XR, pints are great for them because they're gonna be able to keep up with you. And by the time they're older and heavier, uh, you'll give them your XR and you'll get the new XR. It's, so it is fun to ride out there with the pint with them or, or the XR with their pints as we're crossing a major highway here in the Twin Cities. My kids were stoked. They asked the question, Dad, uh, what happens if this breaks? I said, you better hope you can fly. Um, they had never rode over it. You could hear a little bit in their voice like, um, what? Um, there's Epic. That guy the other day was dancing on his one wheel and he ate it. He still hasn't learned, as you can see in the background there. Um, but riding XRs to pints with kids, great. If I'm on my pint and they're on their pint, it's not near as fun for me because I don't have the speed because they can go faster than I can on my pint. And then the battery percentage it just isn't equivalent. And so it made it hard to enjoy a ride like that. So every time I'm with my kids, if we're going somewhere, I'm on the XR, which then has made me ride my XR more than my pint recently, which I enjoy riding my pint. <laughs> There's something so epic about that shot right there, watching all the kids just look like the Beatles cover. And um, we're gonna make a turn here right and go into a bike path uh, along the woods and just becomes really pretty. And they were like, what? what are we doing? And then there's so many people out riding, walking and running that they themselves are watching and going, what are you guys riding? What is that that you're in the, you shout back? It's a one wheel. And they're like, oh, makes sense. Cause it does, right? It's a one wheel. We just had one of our neighbors get a one wheel, which was great uh, to just sit at breakfast two days ago. And one of the neighbor kids just zips by on a brand new pint. And my kids were amped. They're like, what? Our neighbor got a pint. And we go and ask, oh, what made you get a pint? And then, and then it's like, well, how can you not get a pint when you see all these kids in the neighborhood running around on it, right? It's like one of the best marketing tools of these are a blast. It's a good time. You should get a pint. Okay, I think we're coming up on the snake here as we're coming through the backwoods. Is, uh, it is one of the warmer days. I, like I said, I'm not sure if we captured it. Here's one of, this is a nurse we're passing by just taking a break from one of the nearby hospitals. And if there's anybody that's in the front lines right now, a nurse, policeman, firefighter, front lines of COVID, I just wanna say thank you for what you're doing, putting your life at risk for other people's health and their well-being. Thank you to those, even those dentists that stay open for emergencies right now. Like that's just crazy. There was a snake, it was right there. I just pause Mr. Right. Even the dentists that are staying open for emergency stuff so that you don't go to the emergency room for dental problems. Thank you to all of our first responders. Uh, I know that does, that's just not enough. I, I'm trying to figure out what we do to honor those first responders. Uh, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you guys are doing. It's just really cool um, that you're doing that. And, and cool seems so just like downplaying it. There's no words. You just It's amazing. Just impressive. And it seems weird to be talking about one wheeling and you're doing what you're doing. But thank you. Uh, we had someone from Florida the other day that it was a first, re they are a first responder and they talked about how they one wheel during their breaks just to take their mind off of what's happening. And one of my kids said while they're riding, 
It's like, Dad, you know what I love about riding our one wheels is that when you're floating around, you just forget about everything else. I forget about my homework and this and my friends. I just get to enjoy what I'm doing. If you're watching this and you're like, oh, should I go out and ride? Yeah, go ride. A few minutes into your ride, you're going to just find that you just escape from all those other things and you're just going to enjoy what you're doing as we're waiting for a motorcyclist to come across. There he is. Go real slow, bro. And then we're off. Uh, still on our way to the lake. And there is, I think this is Icon's Delete. You can barely see it. It's got the sparkly silver on it. It looks really sharp. Uh, that's Epics with the red. And then Legend's got the silver over there on the sand. The difference in the sand and the slate. Let's talk about that while we're right there. And then we're going to get back to our tires here. The sand looks great, brand new, gets dirty really fast and shows every little ounce of dirt on it. The slate, I feel like it builds character as it gets dirty and it doesn't show those uh, bumps and stuff at, or the scratches as much. And so if I'm choosing, I would always get the slate. I think all the other things match it as well. This far into, we're, we're almost halfway in the ride and the tire is, is awesome. I rode uh, a Burris a couple weeks ago. We did a review on that one. And the Burris tire totally created foot fatigue. And it was I was really like, what? Uh, I, why? Why would I have foot fatigue when I ride miles upon miles? And then I realized changing tires, your feet have to get used to that. The Burris must not absorb as much of the shock as the Hoosier tire does. The, the, at least the Hoosier Whisper and the Hoosier uh, Terrain 2. Because I didn't have foot fatigue, it felt right. Whereas on the Hoosier 5.5, foot fatigue within, I mean, a block. It was crazy. And then on the Burris, after a couple miles, getting foot fatigue. Whereas the Hoosier Whisper and Hoosier Terrain 2 not much foot fatigue at all and so that made it super enjoyable to go on a ride like this and so uh, just things you're learning and again as i had the tires in my hand it's just they're just softer the composite of the tire is softer and so i i understand why it would be a much more enjoyable ride to be able to ride with composite that is softer and if you're still watching at this point and you're like dang you've talked for 16 minutes if not more uh yeah you know what i can talk a lot i got a lot to say like people often tell me because you get this side of my board on these rides often you're always telling me i get those plugs for them i've had those plugs for all of our one wheels they don't i always lose them they get hooked on a, a door or they get hooked on something and they just fall out so i get tired of tracking it down is a little off-roading here in the uh, terrain tire put it to work and it works so so good as you can see all the pint riders back there struggling they're on the struggle bus back there and they're scratching their head like what is going on we made it to our destination we've been wondering if we could make it to this point at this lake so that we might be able to fish this day today was just a trial run to see next time we'll be coming with our fishing okay. gear and we'll be seeing if we can catch a little bit of dinner which we try to eat about this time of year every week we try to eat a dinner out of the lake that is always the plan and so we will come back to this lake as now we head home the boys have uh, what they call digital small groups is a group of their friends that meet up and so we got like five minutes to get back home um, and so we're a little bit late, but we zip back home so they can get into their meeting. Um, which, speaking of meetings, there's been a group of us that have been meeting, and it's it's open to everybody. We've been meeting on a go-to meeting for One Wheels at lunch on Wednesday, and it's 12 o'clock. Everyone's welcome. Last week, we did the mile challenge, which whoever put the most miles on their one wheel got hooked up with a custom one wheel guy uh, welded together. We've had him sometimes on our channel. And so Luke from England won that. He did almost 100 miles in a week. This week, the challenge is best trick, get shred lights. And so we're just asking people to DM their tricks to uh, me, which is Scott Mendenhall on Instagram. And then we're going to put them in our YouTube video and stuff. And then we're going to give away shred lights to the best trick and 
we got a special judge that we're trying to get to judge the tricks. And so that's happening. And so if you're still wa watching at this point, you now know of that competition. And then jump into the go-to meeting. The link will be on my Instagram next Wednesday. That will take you right to the meeting, which would be so much fun to have a packed place where we just talk about what are you customizing? What do you like that one wheel's doing? Uh, what foot pad are you running with? We just do all those kind of things. Uh, and we just check in with people. And so we had people from Miami, Minnesota, England, and a few other places. But those who jump out my mind in those uh, digital spaces that we can do right now. And it's a lot of fun. So look for the link. And if you just want to in on the competition, send me a picture or a video of best trick, creative trick, I think is the way we're saying it, creative trick. Like uh, somebody sent me, and it's one of my favorites right now, there's something gratifying about riding a one wheel over bubble wrap. And this individual sent me their video of riding, and I was like, that is gonna be tough to beat as we're passing a brand new puppy. Oh, look at that, oh, that puppy's so cute. If we were in a different time period, I would have stopped and we would all played with that thing. But social distancing is a real thing. And so there was no stopping and there was no petting that puppy. One day soon, we, we will do that. And so, okay, there you go. You're up to speed on how to win some shred lights from us. So shred lights are so phenomenal. And now you're getting into the time of year to go ride trails at night. We're, we're planning one of those in a couple of days. We're going to go ride some of those trails at night with our shred lights. It should be awesome. The thing I do suggest that you take with you besides your shred lights at nighttime if you're going to ride in the woods is take glasses because you're not going to be able to see the sticks. And man, a stick to the eye, unpleasant, unpleasant. We rode long enough here that the XR is getting a little bit dusty. And even the that sound of the extra tread hitting the the fender and stuff it's still there which to me just shows you qual how 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 quality high quality this wheel is made out of the tires made out of because it's not burning up real fast somebody asked in the comments the other day well how long do you how far do you think you're going to get on these wheels that have less less rubber on them and i have seen in our comments uh, on the slick uh, the Hoosier Whisper 2 Slick. Uh, somebody said they have over a thousand miles. I saw somebody say they have 1,300 miles on it, and so that seems about right. That's what the Vega is is marketed as a thousand, and after a thousand, you might see wear and tear on it. And so that, to me, is pretty promising. I would I would live with that a thousand miles on either one of these tires. Also, people are asking, how are we giving away our tires? We're gonna do a giveaway in the next couple of weeks. We got a couple more tires that we're gonna be demoing. We're trying to get a hold of the Vega treaded tire to put on and give that one a go. Uh, there's a Vega yellow that we would like to try. We wanna keep all the tires in here as we're doing the series so that we have them here to compare with. And then when we're done with it, we're gonna give them away and you gotta be subscribed and you've got to have the bell notification on and you have to drop a comment in that video and that's to come later as we are at the 23, 24 mark, 23 minute mark here, going the distance, okay? We got a little bit, uh, if you're still watching this, seriously, tell me, drop a comment down below. At this point, uh, I'm gonna give you something, okay? So we're 23 minutes in. And I'm gonna, I'm looking around the office, what can I give you? Okay, if you're still watching at 23 minutes, drop a comment down below and tell me what accessory you would like from one wheel and I'm gonna pick one of you and I'm gonna purchase your accessory, okay? Your accessory at, my, at 23 minutes in is yours if you can dr tell me uh, what it is and we'll pick one of you so only one of you is gonna get it but you 23 minutes in let us know we're gonna do another giveaway at around the 36 minute mark as well stay tuned for that as we're crossing back to go home we're we're gonna go over that bridge again and here's where we start learning okay mileage okay uh, what, what is the mileage that we're getting on these things as we make the return ride home with no foot fatigue uh, an enjoyable ride beautiful day Minnesota it's the same course we've rode before and what we found out was that with the Hoosier Whisper 2 six mile course I don't remember if it was windy and all those different elements but 
we had 75% of the XR battery was left when we got home after six miles with the Whisper 2 on it, which is exceptional if you think about that. That's pretty good. We went six miles and I only used 15% of the battery. If you do that math, I mean, you're gonna get a lot of miles on it, okay? This, however, after the six mile ride and returning home with the Hoosier Terrain 2 tire, we were at 68%. 68% so that that just gives you some indication of okay it's almost 10% less r range comparing the two Hoosier tires now we needed ride it with a Vega to really give you coming from a Vega what you what would you be losing because I don't ha I didn't ride it with the Vega tire on it I'll, I can take my wife's tire or my wife's one wheel out and see what that's like um, but I still, it's not that bad, but you're losing range. I don't know if a treaded tire is worth that, in my opinion, as I ride a hybrid. I'd rather have those slicks on there, have the range, and have the speed. You definitely felt a loss in speed uh, in, in this tire because it's a little bit more effort for the one wheel to make it go. And so you're losing some of that that um, overall power that you had in the slick. And I like that. Uh, I remember when I rode my motorcycle, I used to ride a Buell. And what I loved about my Buell was not the top end speed, I loved the torque, the, the pick up and go. And this some of the one wheel I like is that torque, I like that get up and go that the slicks have created, where this you kind of lose a little bit of that. And so that, those are some of the reasons I lean towards the slicks as well, is just because of the that ability to be able to to go. And then that speed, it was a, it was a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie, to just have a little bit, a couple more miles an hour with the other uh, slick on and so for whatever is worth I know we all ride differently so you've got to choose what you want to or how you want to ride and we have somebody walking here but they had headphones on they couldn't hear us and so we we're like on your right they didn't budge at all and those are the people that scare me the most on these ri rides uh, is those that won't move or aren't paying attention um, we have some great videos still dropping uh, next week uh, we're putting on Sure Stance foot pads on our pint. So if you're into that, that's happening next week, which we're pretty excited to debut and try those Sure Stance uh, foot pads. Uh, that are the wooden ones. So we're going to check that out. Speaking of foot pads, I installed a brand new sensor on the front foot pad because my last foot pad, with all the changing in and out, one of the female ends of where your screw goes in on the foot pad it had come up loose so it would just spin and I couldn't get the foot pad tightened so I ordered a new one and I forget what it's like to have brand new grip tape something magical about brand new grip tape is is so nice and enjoyable um, it almost made me want to go and put the because it comes in a set front foot pod, front foot pad and back foot pad uh, but I was like you know what I'm going to I'm going to do leave their back foot pad the loan and just leave it there as we are cruising in one of our favorite spots to go home here. We're gonna go into the woods here and just simply enjoy um, the little backwoods and carving. And I don't know how you guys ride when you're in group rides, but when we ride as a family, as a pod, as a pack, we we constantly call out all the bumps and grooves because I don't want to see anyone fall. I don't want to see my kids fall. And so we're here yelling, bump, bump, uh, or uh, crack, or whatever it is, just to keep everybody safe so no one uh, wrecks as historic. And she, what a cutie. She is slow. As we are coming through some of the fun spots of the turns, it's like snake, it's snake lines back here. It, I don't know if we capture that at all in the video, but it just snakes around back here, which is pretty, pretty cool. And so um, we're at 29 minutes. I'm counting it down as well. If you're still watching, I'm counting it down. Uh, we thought, man, we've just enjoyed these. I enjoy playing these just in the office, just on a screen. I was like, you know what? It'd be great. Instead, I have a 10-minute one and it plays on. We just got a 30-some minute video just capturing an entire ride around Minnesota and talking about what we love. And uh, so we, we shot it and put it on there. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's going to watch the whole thing, um, but if you are at the 29-minute mark, 30-minute mark, thank you for doing that. You are amazing and impressive, 
and you should be rewarded as well. And so if you're at the 30 minute mark, which is in five seconds, we would love you to drop a comment down below and tell us what you're thinking about uh, the video so far. And then what is a one wheel accessory you would like as well. And, and again, keep these within reason. I think we'll, we'll, we'll put the limit at, I think you can get something pretty cool for 30 bucks. And so what accessory from there you would you like that we could afford and be able to give to you? Drop a comment down below. We'll pick you, and then we got to figure out how to get your address and stuff. But um, thanks for still watching as we have six minutes left, and we will get home, get the boys into their digital small group, and then we will eat, and then we'll post this this evening so you can enjoy it maybe uh, wherever you are in the world. And uh, if I haven't said it enough to all of you, thank you. Thank you for watching our stuff. I know you don't have to. You could be watching something else. And we always say here we want to be hope dealers, faith spreaders, and love givers. And today, us just being able to get you something that you want is a way we can say, hey, we're thinking about you. We love you. The best is yet to come. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Okay? Don't use your present day circumstances to determine your future. That's dangerous to to use what you're going through today to say that's what my life's going to be like in, in a year from now is not true. Life continues to go, go forward, keeps moving. And so as it moves forward, it's, it's knowing that it's going to change and that we have to adapt to it. It's a bit like on this ride. We've rode on so many different terrains today that we have to adapt the way we ride. You can't ride it like you do out on the street here. Mack truck right there. You, you, when you ride on the street, right, you got to pay attention to the trucks. When you're in the woods, you don't have to pay attention to trucks. You got to pay attention to routes. And it's just adapting to your rides to where you're at. Same thing in life. Where you're at in life right now, you need to adapt the way you're doing things. Don't continue to keep doing it the same way. It's time to adapt what you're doing so that you can get different results and the results you want. And so we, we hope this video finds everyone doing spectacular today. And thank you for being a fan of what we're doing and always being kind in the uh, comments down below. We love reading them and my kids love reading them and sharing our thoughts and all of those things. It's been a pure joy and uh, we're going to keep doing it. Our, our, our hopes is to, uh, to be able to reach into your world and give you an escape for a few moments. And so hopefully this video, even in its length, has given you an escape from your day, your work, whatever it is. If you're watching this during work, don't get in trouble, okay? Um, you, you could watch this later. <laughs> but thank you. You guys are phenomenal. And I hope your football team drafts well as well tonight. Just not as good as the Vikings, okay? Um, I would love it for the Vikings to win a Super Bowl at some point. But a little bit of football talk here. Tom Brady and uh, the Bucks. Boy, they're looking looking—they're looking like they're building something down there with Rob coming back. I, at least there's something happening in the sports world out there. Uh, and so enjoy the draft tonight. If you're watching this after the draft, well, you've missed it already. And you might not even know it was a thing as we wait for that light to change and we race home to get everybody where they need to be. Thank you guys. I'm gonna let the video play out with a little bit of music and just fade off as we go around the one wheels one more time so you can see those deletes. And if you want to win the shred lights, remember next week, 12 o'clock central time, go to meeting, link will be in my Instagram. You will nominate a winner there. Drop your videos and DM them to me on my Instagram account, um, or you can email me them. And then we'll put them in our YouTube videos and stuff, and we'll look at the tricks, creative tricks. We're not looking for like Bodie Harrison tricks, which it's fine if you can do those, throw those in too, but we're, we're trying to make this play for everybody. Creativity, most creative place to ride your one wheel or how to ride your one wheel, okay? That's what we're looking for there. And so this is me signing off as you get to watch the last minute and a half of us just floating. See you guys.